getting it, cuz. Send that thing. It's your boy, Jay Mitch. Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Jay Mitch. I'm up here today to talk to you about the latest product from Castle Creations. Um, if you haven't yet, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to your man's channel. Um, if you guys uh, haven't been aware, aren't aware, Castle Creations recently made an announcement about their new Cobra 8 ESC. I was lucky enough to be part of the beta testing for the new ESC. So thank you, Castle, again, just for allowing me the opportunity to be part of the beta test. Um, and, and I really appreciate it. And I'm happy that the <laughs> that we can finally talk about this publicly. So um, you guys know a couple of days ago, they released uh, a teaser of what was coming. People knew it was going to be an ESC. We talking about Castle RC. Castle RC, we love the motors. We love all the technology. But Castle RC, we all about them ESCs, guys. So everybody kind of had a good idea that it was an ESC. There was speculation of, was it 12S? Was it another 8S? It was an updated 6S ESC that is sort of the upgrade to what we see here, the Mamba Monster X, which was the upgrade to the OG Mamba Monster 2. Um, and you know, they still produce and sell both of this e ESC, so I wouldn't call it a replacement, I would call it an upgrade. Depending on your budget, if you don't have a lot of money, Go ahead and get you a Mamba Monster 2. You're not going to be mad with the performance of this in a basher or speed run ap ap application. The Mamba Monster X is going to take this uh, Mamba Monster 2 to the uh, uh, the next level with a little bit of cooling technology plus the uh, data logging and um, the sensor capability and the Cobra 8. This is the latest and greatest, guys. Now, let's talk about the Cobra 8. The Cobra 8 has all the technology that's already in the current XLX2s and MMX8S. It has the cryo drive um, cooling. It has the data lock capabilities. You can run it censored. Everything that you can get in the XLX2, as far as programming and technology, that's already baked in. But this has one extra features that both of those do not. It has 32-bit chip in there which allows for 32-bit processing so it can process data faster and produce more rpms on the motor the it de delimited took the limitations off of the rpms because of the type of communication that the esc can send to the motor so it's going to be maximum performance guys maximum performance so is it worth getting yes get it any applications that you would use for bashing or speed running, this ESC can handle. Also, it has the, the added benefit of being able to keep those temps down and that 32-bit processing is gonna come in handy. Other features include, there's an updated Castle Link software uh, for this. Um, when you download, when you get this ESC, you should be able to download the latest version of Castle Link. It does work with this ESCs and the older ESCs, XLX2s or whatever Castle ESCs that are used, you'll be able to use those ESCs and, and connect to the computer and program through the new software interface as well. There's also some new capabilities within the software that are only apl applicable to this ESC. Um, there's some current limiting, uh, some current, um, there's uh, the data log, there's some updates to the data log, some really cool features um, that I, I, it's a little bit more technical than what I want to get into this video. I really know people just want to know what this is. I'm answering that question and they want to see it run. That's what you guys want to see next. Stay tuned. So, yo, just picking it up. I already gave you guys the speech in the house. Going to give y'all some running footage. No jump in. Just going to do a couple, you know, runs, you know, a couple little, you know, a little bit of ground, you know, running. Show you guys what we got going on. But you already saw the car. Going to button her up. And we gonna send it. All right, guys, success. Let's go. She moving nice, guys. She moving hella nice. 
Nah, I can't even stay on the full throttle long enough. It's a good thing for me not to be jumping either. We had um, all the snow recently just melted, so there's a lot of moisture in the in the grass back here right now. So I don't want to be strutting up people's lawns too badly. But previously I ran this video when I did this car, when I ran my first video with the car, it, it was um, a lot of leaves on the ground. So I could deal with this. But she is. Y'all see her? Man, I'm tempted to get a ramp out. I'm not gonna do it to y'all though. I'm not gonna do it. I said I'm not gonna do it to y'all. I'm not gonna do it to me. This thing is handling though. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh, can't even hold it down. When I say she ripping guys, she ripping real nice. Just wanted to just give y'all a quick, you know, quick video on showing y'all how she, how she thrashing with the setup. Running the uh, Trencher 3.8s, the uh, low profile ones though. Running these on the Kagama previously. Real nice guys. They're running hella nice. But anyway, that's gonna be it, man. Like I said, I just wanted to just unbox the, well not unbox it, just wanted to show y'all the Cobra 8 ESC. The newest, latest and greatest from Castle with the new technology. The power is, the delivery is smooth. Very, very smooth. I don't know if that's because I'm running the sensor or not, but. I'm loving it. Anyway, that's it. Talking too much. Gonna go ahead and end it. See if I can end it on, a, on some donuts. A little donut. All right. Don't want to turn the grass into a mud pit. It's coming back. So yeah, I wanna go ahead and end the video. I'm gonna say again, thank you to Castle Creations for the opportunity to beta test this new Cobra 8 ESC. Um, again, running the Cobra 8 with the Castle 2200 V2 sensor motor. And this is the Team Corali Asuga that we're using for the platform. Um, anyway, I'm gonna leave all the details in the video description for y'all reference. But in the video, gonna say thank y'all again for y'all time and your attention. Shout out to my homie David Hubbard, rest in peace. Shout out to Big Willie, shout out to Ted, shout out to Adam from RC Discount. Um, shout out to um, Hector and Mark from RC Discount. Shout out to all the subs. Shout out to everybody that supports your man's channel, who's been supporting my channel for years. Thank y'all so much for sticking with me. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the video and say, y'all be good now, peace. GoPro, stop recording.